Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is DJ Old Spice on Blue Six Seven Six on YouTube, and uh, this is DJ Old Spice. We about to get ready to do the Apple review for the Commodore. It's the very first time I'm doing this, and uh, first album we are gonna start off with is the Machine Gun album. That was the first album by the Commodores, one of the funkier albums, rather than the sappy battles they are known for. Hardcore funk tunes like "I Feel Sanctified," "The Bump." Young girls are my weakness, and the title track made this a worth that ain't this worth uh, the price of admission. Final score, I get this a three out of five. Pretty good album. Very solid funk tunes on this album, and Lionel Richie is at his at sorry, Lionel Richie is at his prime. So, very first album they recorded, Machine Gun, very funky stuff. And um, what else we got here? I'm digging through the crates. Trying to find my next Commodore album. Yes, I got an album called um, Next Up. The album is called Caught in the Act. Yes, Caught in the Act. This is from 1975. And um, this is the second album they cut at Motown. But more, but with more funky tracks like The Bump, which was on their first album, they already had it on their first album. Wide Open, Slippery Wind Wet, I'm Ready. A sweaty funk instrumental workout and the first slow jam on the album. This is your life. You cannot go wrong with this album. Go out and get it. If I had to grade it, final score four out of five. And um, I'll say this this is one of the uh, prime albums I'll say because I enjoy it myself. I even I have it on the LP and now I have it on CD as the digital. I say like the, they say the digital times came in and I got it on CD now so. Good thing, good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And um, next album I got on my list is Moving On. This is from 1975. Once again, an album that had the big hit, Sweet Love, written by Lita Lionel Richie, and other tracks were good, like Gimme My Meal, with that infamous bass line in the beginning of the track. And overall, it's a pretty good album. And I give this a 3 out of 5. Moving on, and uh, it got a lot of funk tunes on there. Of course, you already know about the baddest stuff they did Sweet Love, Lionel Richie singing that lead song, and um, good stuff. Good stuff. Not one of my favorite albums, but I gave it a 3 out of 5 because it has some uh, has some funk tunes on there, but they kind of sound like they more like in the, in the, in the filler, filler section, I'll say. But it's not a bad album, by the way, so it's still good. And uh, next album I got is Hot on the Tracks. Now this album came out in 1976, and um, it's a pretty it's a pretty good album. But unfortunately, I have it on LP, and um, I try to actually play the LP over and over again after a couple of times. But yeah, I like I can still review this album, but I really ain't listen to it like that. But well, I can tell you is it do have some good tracks on there, like Fancy Dancer, which was one of the hits, and uh, Just to Be Close to You, that's one of the other battles they did in, 19, in the 70s, during that 70s period, this is when they was starting to get the rise to fame, and um, had some other tunes like Captain Quick Draw, that's another one of their, uh, kind of weird tune, but it's a good one, High on Sunshine, and Dumping Music, pretty funky album. I give it a four out of five as the final score, and um, kick ass, go ahead and get it. But I have it on vinyl, it's not on CD, so it's a pretty hard to find LP. Next up, I got the Commodores. This is their landmark LP, without a doubt, the greatest Commodores album. Get it, no questions asked. If you don't have this album in your collection, then you don't have a collection at all. That's just my saying because. How can you go wrong with tunes like Squeeze the Fruit, Funny Feelings, Zoom, Brick House, Funky Situation, and Easy? Can't go wrong. You have six good tracks on a sub seven album. Let's say it's, it's a seven album um, track, I say. You got seven tracks on there and six of them good. Can't go wrong. Five out of five. That's the final score. Very essential. A classic album by the Commodores. Good job, well done. Dig up to that band. Next up I got is the Commodore's live CD. 
It's come out in 1977. I think, yeah, it was released. It was released before. It was released on the LP, I remember. So uh, I thought I thought it was one of those uh, limited edition kind of things, but it's probably end up going to be like limited edition if people just people don't buy it. But uh, another kick-ass album this time on the live Commodore album. Doing it all the way live. They're playing their hits, doing all their hits. Plus, they have a studio song on there too called Too Hot to Try. I think it was actually on the actual album, if I'm not mistaken. But if it isn't, it's on that CD. It's a bonus. Too Hot to Try, which earned them a, a Grammy Award in the 70s, 1977. And was featured in the Baby Gordon produced movie. Thank God it's Friday. And God, if people remember that movie there. That was from 1978. One of them old school type movies that Barry and Cordy produced. And um, get out of 5 out of 5. Very good album. I highly recommend this. Go out and get it, y'all. That company of live is just out of it. It's, it's, all, it's all good, man. I'm telling you. It's just great. This album was called Natural High. It might sound kind of cold, but I really don't. But, um. That's known for their savvy ballad, Three Times a Lady, was their first number one pop hit. And Lionel Richie was being recognized as a major crossover star. Good album, good album besides the hit, but they were a second away of losing steam. Yep, good album. I liked it, but it wasn't as good as the two previous albums we heard before, which, in my opinion, the previous album, the 1977 Comedy Lords album, and the live album should just be in a twofer. That's just my opinion because they both good and they both represent the group's best albums. And um, Natural High was an okay album. Had tunes like Fire Girl, Such a Woman, Say Yeah, all that stuff. 3 out of 5. I do it 3 out of 5. It's pretty good. And uh, this album was called Midnight Magic. This come out in 1979, another crossover hit. The tune is called Steel, hit the charts, and the group were more into singing pop country or adult contemporary than their funk bats, like their funk tunes like The Bump, Slippy Rim Wet, Brick House, uh, Fancy Dancer, and all that stuff. I don't know what happened here, folks, but uh, wow, just wow. But there is one good jam on here called Loving You, which was the only memorable track on this album. But the rest of the album was really filler tunes and discourse material, but some still kept that Commodore flavor. So I'm not saying it's like the worst album they ever put out, but I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it with my only, if I had like $5 in my pocket, I wouldn't buy it. But I give this a 3 out of 5 for all you Commodore fanboys out there. Go out and get it. For all the fans, for the fans only. This album is called Heroes from 1980. More ballads than funk on here on this album. Sorry, it's more ballads than funk on this album. But it had, of course, the crossover, um, Old Fashioned Love and Jesus is Love, which is a nice contemporary gospel song. But that don't make this an essential album. But for you Commodore fans out there, they may enjoy it. So I will give this album a 3 out of 5. And um, excuse me, this is a pretty good album by the way. It's not all that, it's just something just to play when, see how the band is going, that's all it is. It's called Heroes, 1980. And um, more ballads than funk on here folks, so not all that good, to tell you the truth. And uh, next up we have is The Commodores in the Pocket. Their very last album to feature band leader Lionel Richie, who went on to be one of the most successful pop stars of the 80s, along with Michael Jackson. But the album tracks were mostly pop and effective funk or pop funk. Ugh, don't want to use that term too much, but a good way to end his stay with the group. The album itself is for the fans only besides one track, Lady, You Bring Me Up. So, what I got to say about this album is a 2 out of 5 in the pocket. Come on, 1981. So, um, that's it. That's it for now because after Lionel Richie left, the, you already know how the Commodore's album was probably turning out then. 
But uh, many people was leaving the group at this time. With many original members leaving the group, they made one final stab with a song called Night Shift in 1985, which was a tribute to two slow soul legends, Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson, who at the time passed a year earlier, but after a song and all that good stuff. And um, the group disbanded. And they continued to release more albums and tour worldwide, but they were mostly successful. The successful years were long gone, and there are more newer members who, who is keeping the legacy alive. But as far as albums go without Lionel, I don't think, I don't have them at this point, but there's no point in reviewing them because they were mostly mediocre and bland. So I hope you guys enjoyed the geography of the Commodores, 1974 to 1981. Peace out, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the show. Peace.